We are one day away from the official big truck move-in day. I'm getting nervous because I, I'm not, I'm not done. There's still a lot of stuff to pack. It's mostly my closet that's making me nervous. There's just a lot of things. Tonight, we are just gonna spend it cleaning, packing, moving more stuff. I am gonna be so sad to leave this apartment. Yes, I'm excited to move into a new place, of course. So excited for all the things that Josh and I are gonna get to do together, decorate the place and make it our own. We didn't really get to do that together here because I was already living here and he moved in with me. Look how cute the living room is. I like this. I cannot wait to work on this room to make it my YouTube room, <laughs> my office, my editing room. Obviously, Josh can use it too. <laughs> yes, you can. Standing desk is gonna go right there. I can't wait to make like the background cute. I've never had like a film set up. I always just like film on the floor. Apparently, we're already putting things in the kitchen. I wasn't consulted. If I don't want this thing there. You can spend any time in this room. In the kitchen? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so much storage space in here. This fridge is ginormous. I haven't even looked at the freezer yet. Holy shit. Oh my God. It has a separate tray for, a no, this fridge is cool. So the plan is actually to get a new fridge because it's missing the handle <laughs> and it's like pretty old, but like, I really like this. But I completely forgot that the mattress is here. And we have pillows. We didn't even realize there was a memory foam mattress. So we ended up getting cooling foam gel mattress. Cause I just honestly didn't know there was a memory foam one. I'm an idiot. I just thought there was one type of Douglas mattress. But we'll try this one. And if we don't love it, we can return it. The mattress I have right now is literally 20 years old. Josh and I are developing back problems. It just has like zero support left. Every inch that he moves, I feel it, which makes it harder for me to sleep. And he falls asleep right away each time. I'm really excited to try this bed and actually see if the motion transfer thing is legit. Like if it actually, cause the Douglas ones, it says that they're very good for that. I'll be the judge of that. This is the last day of me using this treadmill and this gym in general. Even though it sucks, it doesn't have like the best equipment or anything. I have loved this gym for lists specifically. Come here on my lunchtime, get my walk in. Because I work from home, if I don't do this, my steps are so low. Obviously in the new house, there is no gym yet you want to build one but it will be more i think of like a calisthenics body weight type gym or if anything it'll just have like free weight and bars like it's not really gonna have any big machines which i don't really use in here anyway the one machine that i wish i had there is a treadmill just so i could like walk while i'm working so i've looked up like a million walking pads and they're all either sold out or really expensive. Like the ones that aren't sold out are the ones that are like $800. I will update you guys if I find one and where I find it and what it's like. I found one of my wigs. I actually have many. I used to love wigs because I've always had this very dark hair and I worked at a barber and beauty supply for years. So I knew the effects of not dyeing your hair properly and just dyeing it in general. So I just could not justify bleaching the shit out of my hair to do all the things I wanted to do. I wanted to dye it pink, I wanted to dye it blue, I wanted the pastel. I realized that I would burn my fucking hair off if I did that. So <laughs> I resorted to buying wigs. That's why I have many different wigs. And this is just one of them. I also have a purple one. I say many as if I have like a million of them. I think I have like three. But when I did it properly, it looked really cute. What is this? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this being much longer. Why is it so short? Oh, this must have been from when my hair was in a bob. My hair used to be like up to here. So the wig would have had to match that. This was probably like longer than my, I look insane. I look insane right now. Like, okay, yeah, it would like, it went like this. It's not as pink as I remember. If you just like ignore, ignore this and you just picture me with just, okay. It's cute. Josh is looking at me like I'm insane. <laughs> Maybe one day when I start like going gray. That's when I'm gonna experiment with all these like fun colors. I found my old lifeguarding uniform. 
room. This is what I was looking for when I was doing my closet clear out video. If you haven't seen that, go watch that. It's it's a good video. It's fun. My favorite. I loved the white shirt. It took me a long time to get this shirt. I can't remember why. It was like annoying and complicated or something. I think I got it immediately when I started doing outdoor. That's what it was. People wanted these shirts, but I think you could only get them if you were doing, or they were easier to get if you were working outdoor. Because obviously if you're working outdoor, you might need like a long sleeve versus this depending on like the weather. Anyway, I'm not getting rid of this. I'm, I don't think I'm ever gonna use it again, but memories. <laughs> the disaster that is my room right now. I used to play soccer. I played for many years. Was I <laughs> very good? I don't know. It depends who you ask. If you ask me, not really. For the amount of years that I played, I think I should have been better, but you know, I had a good time. One of my favorite jerseys it was like one of the first jerseys I played with. I don't think I want to get rid of them yet. It pains me so much to pack all these things that I know that I'm not going to wear. It's all stuff that's in my vintage closet right now. This Gymshark crop top matching shorts. Can't get this on the website anymore. So fucking nice. Literally in perfect condition. I take such good care of my gym clothes. Ton of Alphalete like brand new stuff that I just don't wear anymore. More. multiple Lululemon bras, multiple Gymshark bras. Anyway, I'm not gonna bore you with more of that. Just so you know, I'm gonna link it in the description. If you want gym wear for cheaper or to like avoid customs, go to my vintage closet. Usually ship within like two days. Carefully package it, I write a cute little note, and then I send it out to you. The disaster that is this place right now. Oh, <laughs> the view is nice though. <laughs> desk came in these two huge boxes. I'm not looking forward to setting this up. I'm just gonna empty one or two so we can bring a box back. You have the plates in there and then you have your glasses in there. It's all kind of together. <laughs> but then what do you put there? Uh, I'm throwing this fucking cloth in a leaf. This looks like something out of a horror movie. Okay, we just got back, moved so many boxes and we still have so much to go. But tomorrow we have the truck rented. We're gonna move like the couch, the bed frame, a bunch of like our bigger furniture. I guess we'll just put your boxes in that truck too if we have space. I will see you on the big move-in day. <laughs> Lots of dust bunnies. <laughs> There's my pretty shelves. They're so cute. Bed has been taken apart. We couldn't unscrew those. So we're just gonna have to move the bed like that. <laughs> and cool the last few days but of course the day that we're gonna move there's like a heat warning it's like 40 degrees today of all days like i'm like oh what a shame that i couldn't go to calisthenics today thank god i didn't go this is a workout in itself i'm sweating everything is starting to hurt and we still have so much to go i'm gonna go get the truck now the big u-haul truck uh... There she is. There's nothing I'm gonna miss more than the lighting I get in this apartment. It's unmatched. It's so beautiful. The view I just showed you is literally what made me fall in love with this apartment. See how this is facing a wall right now? This is Josh's desk where he usually works. And I think we're gonna put that desk like right in front of the window so his view is literally gonna be outside. It's gonna be so nice. <laughs> this apartment gets the more sad i get there are lots of things in the house that i'm really looking forward to but there's also a lot of things about this space that i'm really gonna miss i'm really happy i'm like i'm so grateful to be able to experience both moved into this apartment by myself like four or five years ago and then now get to experience the house <laughs> life which i know is gonna be a lot more work yes gymshark leggings and alphalete tops get their own box alphalete leggings are in here and some alphalete tops and i'm starting another box for gymshark the table is gone this looks so weird 
Oh my god. <laughs> calisthenics gym will go if we build one started already with these bars <laughs> remember how i was laying there now that space does not exist <laughs> style of this couch is like too big for this space i don't really think we can have an l couch anymore i'm so shiny right now i'm sweating my ass off technically this has more square footage than the cottage but then the cottage i'm tired <laughs> than the apartment but the way that it's laid out is very different so it's more of a narrow layout versus a wide layout I think we're gonna have to get like a lot of new stuff not gonna stay here tonight too many things in here isn't that much room for us to sleep here we're gonna sleep at the apartment with the bare minimum stuff we just have the mattress and we're just gonna eat on the floor i guess this is so high up okay this is a weird angle but it'll do i hope you can hear me down Oh, there, 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 there. I got it, I got it, I got it! I'm never gonna drive a truck other than now. This is so weird. I feel like I'm driving a boat. I'm driving a boat. It literally feels like I'm driving the Titanic. How do people drive trucks? This is quite a small truck. I hate it. <laughs> I love my golf. My golf is the best. It is the cutest little thing. You know what I feel like I'm driving? A monster truck. I was really leaning forward. Okay. I feel everything in this. Did it feel weird driving it when you had all the stuff yeah, in the back? Yeah, you try driving it when it's full. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I'm off-roading. They were like, when you were going over the speed bumps, you could feel everything in the back. Going. Excuse me. You can like fully see into people's cars. You can be so nosy in this. Like, oh my, we're off-roading. That was so fun. Seb is so confused. He's like, where, where's the couch? Where's my ramp? Where, where are all my things? <laughs> oh, Josh kept the, what are these beach chairs? Yeah. He just made a little setup for us. This is so funny. Our pizza is finally here. We have not eaten since like 12. Now nine o'clock. We got wedges. We got these things called plantalini plant-based bites. So good. <laughs> Doesn't look very good in this lighting. We're watching my vlog. I just uploaded the Barcelona one. We put the bed in the living room yes <laughs> yes we did this is what we woke up to thinks this is his bed now no he's not supposed to be here <laughs> he's so cute look at this masterpiece look at josh's masterpiece that looks so good so i use peanut butter and this vegan sesame chocolate spread i get it from farm boy it is unreal it literally just tastes like nutella i could eat spoonfuls of it he's just a baby he's just a sweet baby okay we're going to the house to measure everything again and then we're going to ikea kind of cold today i would have loved to wear jeans but i packed them closet has a very weird setup here this is where the drawers like the storage is but kind of limits the space more of the closet so we're thinking of getting rid of this and then it gives us more like overall closet space okay, we're about to enter ikea on a sunday on a long weekend i'm actually scared a lot of parking spots somehow there are so many cars like i've never seen it like this okay let, let's go we're not even here for a couch but I feel like I need to test all of them. We happy with this one? Ginger thins. Oh, these are so good. These are where it's at. I don't think I've ever tried them. Have Real. you? Yeah. yeah. I just want to stay here. So we're making a bet. Josh says that the cake at the IKEA like eating place is by Dime. I don't think that's the brand. I think it's a different brand. I can't remember the name, but, you but can't even put a name to it. it's not Dime. I know it's not. I figure out the name, but I know it's not Dime. It's definitely Dime. If I lose, what's the what's the thing? You have to make me dinner for a week. That's unacceptable. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Not for a whole week. You two, make food way nights. better than me. Two nights. Okay, two nights. Fine. Do they have to be one after the other? No? 
Okay, if I win, I want bubble tea for a month. <laughs> okay, well they all need money. <laughs> I just opened one of the fridges and there's a pair of boxers in the fridge. What the fuck? Ew! This is kind of useless. I don't really think I'll actually use that. When are you gonna cook? When are you gonna <gasps> use this thing? Shots fired! I could cook one day. <laughs> so we were gonna get food here, but they're out of the damn cake, so... Never mind. So we're not gonna talk about how Josh was right about the name of the cake. We're not gonna talk about it. Where we've we been here for like two hours and have only got one item. <laughs> like, what are we doing? I left the bubble tea on the car. <laughs> well, we went in there for two hours, went for very specific things. Two things we wanted the most were both out of stock. That was pretty useless. Just wanted a clothing rack for now, like a temporary thing. And we just wanted storage bins. And they were out of stock of both of those things. I've been wondering what Josh was doing. And look what he's been doing. He's been putting all the spices into individual jars and labeling them. This is amazing. This is incredible. Oh, it's therapeutic. I didn't even know we had this many spices. Yeah, that's why I got this, because they're everywhere. <laughs> this is the last morning in the apartment. We are going to pick up storage boxes today. Just really need those storage boxes so I can start unpacking. Are you comfy, honey? Are you comfy? As long as you're comfy, that's what's important. <laughs> Pancakes on the floor for breakfast. picked up two Amazon orders. I think one of them is bubble tea straws and the sunglasses I broke in Barcelona. Okay, I was right. Sunglasses that I broke. Look how cute these are. I love them so much. Hands down my favorite sunglasses. Their box was, let me take these off. Okay, reusable bubble tea straw, which I'm really curious about. Yes. Yeah, it's glass. <laughs> I never have to use a plastic straw again. I'm literally just gonna take this every time we go get bubble tea. So cool. I'll link these in the description in case anybody, in case anybody wants this. I picked up the boxes and they're literally massive. <laughs> Came back for a desk and a chair, and now we're looking at plants. This is the third time we're changing the desk. It's so cute. I think it's a bit low, but it's the one he wants. My dumbass grabbed the display pot. We were literally checking out. Now I need to actually find it. Walked right past them. I can't. Setting up the bed. He insists on being involved. Get away from here. A lot more space on the sides than I thought. I think Seb is really attached to this couch. As soon as this couch was brought in here, he's like, okay, I'm home now. The frame is finally set up. I'm probably gonna put the mirror there. This move is never ending. Never ending. Like, <laughs> I just wanted to end. I am finally taking some of the things from the fridge. This is kind of it. I think this is like the last of it. Finally actually going to stay the night there. The only reason why we haven't been doing that is because Bell was supposed to come set up our internet and they canceled, they changed the day. So we just wanted to stay here for as long as we could with like internet so we could have a TV and Wi-Fi. Bella's coming tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Still have to set up the mattress though. Like we have the bed frame set up, but we haven't taken the mattress out of the box. Probably gonna come back one more time during the day. <laughs> But yeah, closet is completely empty, almost. I never got to do a closet tour too and it was all full. I'm gonna miss this jewelry drawer. Oh my God, it's dirty. <laughs> yes, we are here in the new place. It's a disaster right now. Yes, the fridge does not have a handle. I've probably mentioned that already. The living room is actually scary to look at. Other people's moving vlogs are probably like so aesthetic. This is insane. And Seth's just like, Sitting there amongst the disaster. <laughs> hey! Oh my god. Josh, we have to throw out the whole fridge. Because my hydro jug doesn't fit. <laughs> you in the 
backyard of your old farm in the summer. Stayed there for three weeks where we learned to love each other. This is nice. Sent a message to the captain. Skip to the present. Haven't been so happy ever. God, my dream mirror is here. So excited to put it in our bedroom. We're walking to the apartment now to get a photo for the thumbnail of this video. <laughs> 10,000 bees out. It's fucking bee season in Toronto. Oh my God, one's attacking me. What I hate about Toronto. Just so many bees all the time, everywhere. I cannot believe the foreshadowing in this vlog. Not long after I say this, we realize that our house is infested with bees. We were being attacked in the house by bees. It's called fumigator and everything. Like, I can't believe, I didn't even, I didn't even remember that I had said this. I cannot believe that happened not long after this. I know it says weighted blanket, but like it's so heavy. I don't know why I wasn't expecting it to be that heavy. I knew it was gonna be heavy. It's a weighted blanket. But like, I can't imagine having that weight placed on me while I'm sleeping. How is that comfortable? I feel like I would feel very claustrophobic and like having to get the weight, the weight off of me, like if I'm hot. This is the blanket I got for free with the purchase of the Douglas mattress. I'm really excited about it because it was free. <laughs> Okay, I just got back from the gym and something has arrived. What is this? I actually don't know what this is. Oh, finally. Oh, it's hangers. I saw these on TikTok, remember? Yeah, you hang them. Wait, how does this work? You hang them all there while they're like that. And then you unhook this. So it only takes up this much space. Got a lot. This whole box is full of them. Jesus. <laughs> Today we're gonna be building my flexi spot desk. I'm finally gonna be unboxing a mirror I ordered. Sorry if there's echoing. Are you ready to build this? You in the backyard of your old farm. I'm setting this up right here. You can see proof that I'm actually doing something. Screwing this, <laughs> this screw into the desk, which connects the desk top to the legs. So it's an important- the Table top and the lifting columns. Is what okay, the table top and the lifting columns. So it's a vital part of the process. In which there are three. Only three steps to put this together. I told, I told you it was easy. Josh doubted me. He's been dreading helping me with this. He thought it was gonna be this really complicated process. I told him this desk is very popular. It has a lot of good reviews. So if it was complicated to finish, it wouldn't have all those positive reviews, and it wouldn't be so popular because nobody wants shit that's complicated to do if you don't do this kind of stuff. What? Oh. This has taken us a total of <laughs> like 10 minutes. I'm gonna try to move it for the first time. Let's see. Please work. Oh my God. It's working. It's actually working. This is so cool. It goes high. Holy shit. That's it, this is how high it is. This is way too tall for me. Look at this. So that's for someone who's like seven foot. Yep, I am in love with this desk. It's everything I ever wanted and I can't wait to put all my things on it. Won't be much, because I don't like when desks are very cluttered. I wasn't sure if this was actually gonna be enough space, but it's actually a lot of space. Like it's a lot more than I thought. Some of you might be like, who cares? It's a desk. I have been working from the kitchen table for like two years. It was an interesting setup. So I can't believe I actually have like a real desk. Now I just need a chair. The chair I want is from Ikea. It's actually out of stock right now. So 
I'm just waiting for that to come back in stock. Also getting a walking pad. I'm having a really hard time with that because they're sold out everywhere. Anyway, let's go unbox the mirror. It's huge. <laughs> I'll ignore this disaster. We need to get that outlet fixed to be just like a hole here. And there were two spiders here, so I thought maybe they were coming through the hole, so I taped it, okay? No judging me. Please don't be broken. Oh my god. It's actually smaller than I thought. I thought it was gonna be like as wide as the box. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Wow. We need to. <laughs> Fix the rest of the room. This is the duvet cover right now, which is really cute. I love it. It has like a Monstera plan on it. It just doesn't work for this space. We got this one from Ikea. The Angselilja. Angselilja? It's like a beige tan color. I don't know if I've fully decided on this yet. It looks kind of white in this. It's showing up white here. Oh, it looks so cute, especially with the plant there. It's like, it's perfect. Josh just painted this. <laughs> For the first time, he watched a YouTube video tutorial. Looks like he did a great job. The person who lived here before us um, made it extra difficult to change the color to white because he painted it all blue. You have to do like multiple coats. So it's like the second coat or the third. Oh my God. It looks great. <laughs> That's it for this video. If you are still here, I appreciate you. I know it was a lot. <laughs> I should have probably split this up into multiple videos, but I wanted to just keep this all in one video and use this as like a cute little video to look back on. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye. Yeah, there's still a garbage bag around the fireplace. I'm afraid to pull it off. I, I don't know how many dead bees are gonna be behind there. I'm gonna get Josh to do that at some point. Okay, bye. <laughs> Stay there for three weeks where we learn to love each other